All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Yeah, El Patera Rodriguez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Darren the Damage Elkins! You ready to fight? Ready? Well, what a highlight reel already put together by Mexican featherweight contender Yair Rodriguez. You may remember the knockout of Andre Feely by flying head kick. Stopped BJ Penn early in 2017. A lot of people think we are staring at a future UFC champion. We'll try to entertain the Masters yet again tonight. And some nice defensive work being put in by Darren Elkins. And there's that kicking game from Yair Rodriguez on full display early on in this one. Oh, Elkins is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Beautiful block there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. You never know where it's coming from. You don't know if he's going to do a cartwheel, try to kick you. You never know what's happening from Yair Rodriguez. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Rodriguez. Hook legs. Oh, nice takedown defense. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands a big ease in the clinch. Knee strike there, interrupted by Elvis. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. And another one. Oh, no. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got hurt very badly. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Rodriguez gets back up. All right, well, good news is he rocked the Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Knees to the body here by Darren Elkins. Takedown defense holds up. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round for the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Great fight. Ready. Here we are, early round two. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. So Rodriguez continuing to manage distance beautifully tonight. He's got his kicking game on point. He's so long. So Yair uses those kicks to not only brutalize you, but to maintain space. He's a well-rounded mixed martial artist. He's really improved in the wrestling, but ultimately, Always be what defines Jair. 
Takedown defense holds up. Oh, fighter lands a punch to the head out of the clinch position. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early... That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over three minutes to go. Rodriguez getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Just back in full now. <laughs> Lands the grounded pound strike here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, Hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Darren Elkins. Oh, Ten minutes God. in the books. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? You ready. Let's Third go. round underway. Oh, effective strike there by Rodriguez. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yeah! El Pantera Rodriguez! All right, so congratulations are in order, certainly to Yair Rodriguez. Mike Valley has really worked wonders with this young man, and He's certainly still on the right side of 30, entrenched in the featherweight top 10. And I think he proved to a lot of his doubters here tonight that Yair could beat elite competition. Not sure if this will be enough to get him that first UFC.